Good morning. It's, uh, it's Monday morning. Um, I just thought I'd do a quick video. Um, it's not something I uh, really enjoy doing. As you can see, we're uh, just about to do a refund on an eBay item. Um, this doesn't happen very often, but um, I wanted to do this video just to clear a couple of things up. So this buyer was fairly insistent that these carburettors that we'd sent out to him would not run on his Pinto. They were misfiring, they were doing this, they were doing that. Now, as everybody knows, we test all of our carbs on a test engine, an 1800 ZTEC test engine uh, downstairs. Uh, we do that to eliminate any chance of this sort of a situation. We know that when the carbs leave, they run, they pick up, they don't leak fuel, and they will get you up and running. However, some people don't believe us. So, these have literally been returned this morning. They were returned and signed for um, delivered here um, at 9.15 a.m. as you can see there okay so the time here is currently 9.46 so we've had half an hour not really sufficient to take these carbs in bits strip them down and sort out whatever issue the customer was having so there we go, I'm about to refund him his money because um, there was not a lot we could do to convince him otherwise, but I'm just gonna take you downstairs now and I'm gonna show you our test engine and just go through it once more, just to, um, for the avoidance of any doubt. So here we are, we're downstairs. Uh, carbs are mounted on our test engine. This is the same test engine that we use for all of our carburetors. It's been featured in some of our other videos. As you can see, we have a bit of a lash up manifold here. Uh, multiple silicon hoses um, just for adapters basically so we can put whatever carburetors we've got on there um, but this is an 1800 ZTEC engine now we jet them we get them we put some base settings on there so that this engine will start and run now carburetors they're pretty simple things okay so the jetting is not absolutely critical okay whether it's a Pinto whether it's a Crossflow whether it's a ZTEC they're all going to run pick up and drive just the same the fine tuning on the dyno of course is a different matter for getting power and getting drivability but as a setting and a starting point this is all that we need okay now we can't have a Pinto and a Crossflow and a Forage and however many other engines we uh, do carburetor kits for all lined up. I mean we'd need a warehouse full of engines already to go wouldn't we? Um, so that's why we just use an 1800 ZTEC engine. It's a nice in-between engine. It, uh, it suits most applications uh, and it works well. And of course they're cheap and plentiful for if it goes wrong and we need to replace it. So as I say we've just lashed these back onto this engine. The fuel pump's primed. Uh, the engine is freezing cold, okay, there's no temperature in it whatsoever, that's me putting my hand on the exhaust manifold just to prove that it hasn't even been warmed up, okay, so, ignition on, a bit of choke to start. <laughs> choke off. There they are, idling on all four cylinders as you would expect. Okay, it's still a little bit cold, it should be. We're not really giving it a fair chance, we should have a bit of choke still, just to get it warmed up. We're sounding pretty sweet. And there you have it. not really sure what else you could ask for but there you go it's not for everyone uh, so that is our test engine I'll do some more videos on it but this is the engine that we put every single set of carbs on without fail because we do not want any ambiguity before the carburetors go out I'm just going through here it's now 9.51 just half an hour after the carbs were delivered. 